Hey, this is Nate Mill. In this video, I'll show you how to root and unroot your Amazon Kindle Fire. The only difference between rooting and unrooting will be the last step. So if I run a root check, you can see I am currently not rooted. And I sideloaded that root check app. You can do so also by following my other sideloading video. So the first step is to plug your Kindle Fire into your computer via the USB cable. Go ahead and dis disconnect that. Then click up in the notification bar, hit more, device, and you want to turn on this option that says allow installation of applications from unknown sources. When you get this warning, hit OK. And then you can go back to home and do the rest on your computer. The next step is to download the android.zip file that will be linked below in the video description. It will look something like this. Go ahead and use the direct download link here. When that's finished downloading, you want to right click on it, extract all, and go ahead and delete everything except for after the users and whatever your username is for your computer just like that and then you're going to want to put a period before the Android so it should say C users and then your computer's username and then period Android okay then hit extract Now if you go down to start and then your user folder should be right here, click on that, you should see .android just like that. Okay, the next step, we're going to install the driver for the Kindle Fire. So, go and right click on computer, manage, device manager. You should see under other devices your Kindle. Go ahead and right click on that. Up update driver software. Browse my computer for driver software. Let me pick from a list of device drivers on my computer. And just hit next. Then have disk. Okay, then hit browse. Okay, we're then going to navigate to your user folder and then the .android folder that we extracted and then in there you'll see a folder named driver double click on it and then hit open and then OK here you should see Android Composite ADB interface hit next hit install this driver software anyways Okay, when it's finished and it says it's successful, press close. You should now see up here Android phone and it says Android composite ADB interface. That's your Kindle. Go ahead and close out of that. You're next going to download the super one click tool which will also be linked in the video description the link will take you to this page thanks to this website um, right here click here to download super one click version 2.2 .2. go ahead and click on that and the download will automatically begin it will look like this when it's finished downloading go ahead and right click on it select extract all and just hit extract you'll then see a folder 
an extracted folder be created over here. Okay, the next step, we're going to reboot our computer. So I'll see when that's finished. Okay, now that my computer has rebooted and my Kindle is still plugged in, I'm just going to go make sure that it's still recognizing the Kindle. So I'm going to go back to Device Manager. And under Android Phone, yes, it is still connected. So I'm good to proceed. Okay, at this point, make sure you turn off any antivirus you have. Then we're going to open the extracted Super One Click folder. We're going to right click the Super One Click.exe and press Run as Administrator. Press Yes to the prompt. And then if you're rooting, you push root. If you're unrooting, you push unroot. It's really as simple as that. So I'm going to hit root. And let it run its course. Don't touch your computer or your Kindle. Okay, there it goes. Root install has completed. Would you like to run a test? You can if you want. So hit yes. Now on your Kindle, you should see some sort of prompt. Yeah, there we go. I just saw it saying I have super user permission. Okay, so let's run another root check. We go. Congratulations, you have root access. If you chose to install BusyBox, you can check that too. And they both are working great.